dodging and juking is something that many people are familiar with in high elo, but unfortunately in lower elos most of the players don't know how to do it correctly. Hey guys, I am Bizais and today I will be sharing with you my secrets about how to get better dodging skill shots. This video can also help you to hit more skill shots funny enough. If this is the first time you're watching my videos, my name is Bizais and I'm a League of Legends coach. I make educational content for people that want to get better. So if you want to get better, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell to not miss any bit of content from my channel. I also do League of Legends coaching for people that are serious about improving and climbing. Learn more about my coaching by the end of the video. In League of Legends, there are two kind of dodges. One, anticipation dodge and two, Reaction dodge. The anticipation dodge is that when the anticipation dodge is when a player moves in a particular way because they know their enemy will throw out the skill shot and they are ready to dodge it. This anticipation dodge is split in two concepts that you might actually have heard. One is wiggling, and two is sidestepping. Wiggling can be done back and forth to scare an enemy by using your extra range. An example would be Syndra vs Orianna forcing the enemy to go back and forth until uh, Syndra uses her Q. The sidestep is the normal traditional dodge that the majority of the players use. This is just going to, uh, this is basically going side to side to make the enemy uh, miss the skill shot basically. Let's go step by step on those and let's explain those aspects in a very easy to understand and practical way. Notice in this particular clip, for example, how the Talia is basically spacing in and out of the Syndra Q. So let's take a closer look on what she does right now. So we can see that she's walking up very, very, very slowly to the minions. Let's, let's use this on slow motion. She's walking up slowly on the minions and then she immediately backs off because she knows that the Syndra is going to throw out the Q. So this is basically wiggling. It's the ability to go back and forth in order for you to really pressure or, uh, or uh, just try to relieve pressure of your enemy. This Talia, for example, just wanted to play safe in and out uh, of the Syndra Q just so she can bait it out and once she baited it out then she can play more aggressive or she can push the wave depending on what she wants to do. Notice that wiggling can only be used in specific matchups and uh, usually it should be done especially around the minions for example when the enemy walks up for one and remember that it's only used in particular matchups. The example too can be used in more situations, so let's take a look on this one as well. The traditional dodge can be shown in this particular example right here. When Orianna is going to mid lane, right now Thresh is actually trying to roam from the down angle right here and he's going to hex dash flash over the wall. So where do you think this Orianna is going to go now? Do you think she's going to keep running like this? Do you think she's going to try to dodge? Well, she can't really go this way because Thresh is probably going to reach her and she can't really go into the Thresh because he can even start with the flay, not even needing to actually hit the hook. And if he just runs like this towards his tower, then obviously it's very easy to predict. So you either can go like this or like this. The problem is that if you go this way, you're going to potentially get hit by the charm. The thing is, in this specific situation, it is actually safer to try to go back just a little bit, because this is the, the charm of the Ari. Just go back a little bit, and then after you dodge the hook, you immediately go this way or this way, depending on how or where you think the, the charm is going to be thrown. So in this case, Oriana should actually back off and dodge the hook. Unfortunately, she tried it, but unfortunately this trash was high low trash and she, he predicted the Oriana, but she actually did good in terms of the dodging. She tried to dodge properly. She tried to dodge a traditional sidestep we're saying. Um, so this is basically how you dodge. Many players, when they try to dodge, they try to dodge either going left or right left or right left or right usually you want to make sure the first thing that you would really want to make sure is that you don't want to do it too much for example uh, if you're going to mid lane and let's say trash is uh the enemy that you want to actually dodge the hook you want to make sure you don't do it too much for example if you're trying to run and you're dodging too much like this you're most likely going to just die just because he's just going to simply walk up with you probably start with flay and you're going to die anyway so first first of all do not overdo it the best the best dodging that i saw at high low pro players is the, the 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 dodging in zigzag so they don't really go like this really really far but they go the left and then they change it to right then reach your left change it to right change it to left change it to right so you have to go in the zigzag so it's basically like this 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 not too fast like don't do it like this 
Don't do it like this. This is bad. It's very easy to predict. Remember that your movement has to make sure it's not a, a very pattern movement, a, a movement that follows a pattern. You want to be as predictable as, uh, as possible. So that's why they usually go again, left, right, left, right. They go a little bit left and then change it. They go a little bit right, then change it. They go a little bit left and then change it. So this is basically how pro players move. Obviously, they want to like, like, do it like this, kind of like this. Again, very, very unpredictable. Not too fast, not too slow. Try to practice this in practice and see if you can do it. Again, not too fast, not too slow. Not too fast, not too slow. So not like this. This is bad. And also like this is like way too bad. This is how, how bronze players do, die, try to dodge. So they go left, they go right. The problem is that they, it's too long. They actually cover too much distance. They need to go like this. Left, change it right. Change it left, change it right. Change it left, change it right. This is basically how you do it properly. Let's see the next example right here. This is a game that I actually was watching from Lorinos. So we can see that the, the Lux is immediately going into the rush and she gets hooked by the pikes. So what did she do wrong right here? Right, it's very, very simple. So in this specific situation, when you're going into the brush, the pike will really know that you're in the brush and you will immediately just throw the hook into the brush. So uh, the thing that the Lux did bad is that she followed a pattern. So it was very obvious that once she's going to go into the brush, the pike is going to really, really hook instantly because she will know where she is. So what the challenger player will do, a challenger player will just go into the brush, just touch the brush and right after she touches the brush, immediately turns back outside of the brush. So she, she makes spikes throw the, the hook into the brush she she makes spike uh, think that lux is actually going to just go into the brush and sit there but no it's just a prank they just want like she just wanted to like go into the brush touch the brush and immediately go to a resolution so he can bait out the hook and after that he can just go aggressive with this lux so the mistake is that the lux was way too predictable another good example is this particular one when gragas is pretty high elo player and he really tries to make this dodge very very unpredictable so most of you will think that he's going to try to dodge this way or maybe just go this way just because the uh the w of the swain is uh, on the ground and he can just go upside or you can just go into the brush and try to dodge it this way but what he actually did he was thinking hey if i'm swain right now like where am i going to throw with and why would I throw it? Like, I'm going to throw, if I'm swaying, I'm going to throw it because I know that the, the Gragas is either going to move right here, or maybe right here, or maybe even right here. So he's thinking that Swain is thinking to actually predict uh, the the movement of the Gragas. So what he's, what he's doing, Gragas is doing the most unpredictable thing in the world that every single pro player does. They are moving forward. So he just moves forward like this. He never, like this Swain never ever was able to to decide hey wait is this Gragas stupid or why is he dodging like into me trying to kite towards my tower remember guys this is the swain's tower so Gragas was just willing in this, this situation he was willing to be unpredictable so sometimes sometimes you can dodge you know left right so it's a sidestep sometimes you can dodge uh, by just running away uh, of the people but sometimes you just you just you, you can just make your movement very unpredictable by by running towards the target that is hitting you a good example can be this following one right here when i boy plays Varus. so let's take a look he's going to hook up he has no idea that they are in the brush and then boop just flash immediately he had absolutely no idea they are there and he immediately notice notice that he even attacked minion look at this he even attacked the minion and then instantly flash. This is flash reaction. Another good example when iBoy does this is this one. He just recalls and then he has absolutely no vision, but when the Zoe comes, poop, instant flash, instant reaction. Another good example right here. The last example is with Uzi. So let's see how he's going to play out this fight right here. He's trying to kite out, trying to, he has flash up, but he doesn't just use it. And just right when he sees, right, right before he actually sees that, Gragas is throwing his Q, he is flashing. Look at Uzi right here. He, he just skips his flash and just when he sees the animation of Gragas trying to really put the barrel down, boom, he just uses flash. So this is reaction flash and this only specific players can do this. Not every single player can do this. In my opinion, usually below Diamond 1, people can do this even though sometimes if you play like 10 games per day let's say in the 11th game you're going to be very very clean and you can actually do this as well uh, it's actually a lot harder and it requires a lot more skill and a lot more practice in the game
Did you ever thought about getting coached by me? Did you ever get coached by me and you eventually wanted to book more hours? Nothing better! This week my brand Besides is celebrating 4 years of experience of coaching where I will give special offers for my coaching. From today on my website I will have discounts up to 25%. The slots are limited as this is going to be only 10 packages sold with the discounts. This is the best time to book a coaching session. First come, first serve. Do you want to take advantage of this limited offer? Do you want to benefit of it? What are you waiting for? Go ahead and book your session to claim your slot before someone else takes it. I'll see you in the session.